Hi, I'm Chris Jones with MyWall, and I'm going to be showing you a small demonstration of the new MyWall Plus exhibit system. Uh, what we've done is we've created a plastic system. Here's a, just a section of it that's cut out. Um, they're larger than this. They're one meter wide by almost a meter tall each panel. But we've developed them to specifically fit into the B matrix and the Nexus systems. So it'll fit into either one. And what you can't see here is um, we have two panels. One panel is behind this section. There's uh, one standard um, uh, exhibit panel back here or a frame and a second exhibit frame on this side. So we have two of them. And there's a second one of our panels, peg panels, that's basically from here to here on the back. And you'll probably, I'll be able to show you some other images of that. Uh, the way that they hook into the systems are you use your standard dog bone, which holds the frames together. And within our system, it fits as is directly into the side rear of our frames. So basically we have these vertical strips that run down the back and the peg holes in the front. And you also actually get additional peg holes on the back side to hold additional shelves or accessories. The, the frames themselves are a few millimeters in around the outer edge, so you can still fit in the Keter with your um, with SEG into that slot. So in the back of here, I've done a full frame of SEG showing it. The way that the panels work is we have these locking pins Basically, you slide the locking pin into a hole. You can tighten it with one of our little hex key. And when you do that, basically I'll show you. When you do that, it tightens very tight into the hole, so you can't pull it out. And that is what enables us to do so many different accessories on the wall. So let me set this down. On this wall behind me, these are just a few. We have like over 60 standard accessories, but you'll see for retail, we have a retail uh, clothes hanger bar, tons of shelves. These shelves, when you put them in, basically we have about five different size shelves and we have these non-locking pins. You can either use non or, or locking uh, that pop into the shelves. And then you just do a little hole, like just on show site, um, in order to line up with the peg holes behind and then just take your shelf and slide it in. Um, the weight that these each pin can carry, so this is a 35 pound kettlebell that's right here and with that it's on a locking pin and we also have one of our rubber, we have a, a rubber sleeve that we use that can also go on top. I have a standard retail pin here, um, uh, acrylic holder for collateral that can go on or you can use one of the um, a binder clip. Here I have a, um, an iPad holder and with the iPad holders basically anything that you can drill a hole in can use one of our locking pins. So that's just a standard iPad holder that I drill the hole in and then I just set, set it on top. Um, we also have a large and a small desk. Uh, this can is just from Ikea. So basically, again, anything with a hole in it that you can lock in. These are one of our, our standard cabinets. So basically a, a two door cabinet that has three locking pins that hold it. Uh, for the monitor, we have yet to find any standard monitor holder um, or monitor bracket that doesn't fit within our system. And it's extremely strong. So again, really easy. Um, our locking pins are also magnetic on the end. So we like doing, besides the SEG, you can also do three mil PVC, put just a 3M magnets on the back. Here are two of our locking pins. I just take this and boom, it's up in two seconds. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you a section now. I'll go ahead and peel this down so you can see what the panels are like from the back side. So I've gone ahead and taken down the SEG on this edge of the frame, and you'll see I have our peg panel showing through it behind the SEG that's hanging down. And there is, if you can see here, there's a wood texture to it so that just in case you want to 
uh, not use SEG and just use our panels on basically a top and a bottom to do a full frame of the MyWall panel, or I should say MyWall Plus, um, you can go ahead and do that and you don't have to do SEG over top of it. Let me walk around behind. So you'll see here, I have two frames that are kind of opposite each other and one's lower so that I was able to get uh, different layouts on that front side. And basically you'll see I have a dog bone right in here that's sharing the other, the other hole with this side of the frame. So I have no, no other hardware that's going on here and they just pop into place. Uh, at the same time, you'll notice I have other ro rows of holes on the back side where you can go ahead and put additional accessories, shelves, other pins. So if you wanted to do a double-sided booth or you wanted to hang or do storage on the back side of your wall, that makes it very easy, as well as being able to do SEG on this side at the same time. So just showing you some of the accessories, like here's a standard retail pin with one of our locking pins in it. And I can show you, here is the TV monitor bracket that I had hanging up and it's just using two of our small flush mount pins. So again, any, anything you can put a hole in can hang on the system. I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. I just put the SEG back up in the, onto the edge of the Keter, or the Keter going back into the frame. And I'll just show you, here's my TV mount. Pop that in. This will be real time to see how long it takes to lock. Lock, all you need are two to do it. And then, monitor monitors hung this is retail bracket they made them too tight hold on <laughs> basically just loosen them up to put them in takes a couple of moments to do it and then the shelves you don't have to use like our shelves have six pinholes in them but they're so strong like in this case I just have three but you can still hang a ton of weight on them so the shelf and then my little graphic And the beauty about it is if you were on show site and you had a client say, hey, we'd like to add a shelf or add a monitor or add some kind of hanging piece, in just in a few seconds, you'd be able to pop a hole, put it in and attach it. And then again, here's a 35 pound kettlebell into locking pin. And you see how much strength it has. So that's my wall plus. I look forward to showing you more stuff.